Oh, she's going to teach us how to break dance today. So are there people on Zoom? Yes. OK. All right, so we're going to start the meeting out today. 23? That's a lot of people. Those 23 people need to be here next time. Yeah, right? We got 23 seats. OK, so um, I'm going to make Christy. I'm going to. I'm going to talk a little bit, and I'm going to I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit. So every year we choose a charity to donate to, and last year and previous years, uh, Security National has donated and volunteered with and through Heather and HR for the Taylor Hagen Memorial Foundation, um, and so this is uh, dear to. Christy's heart. So this year we got, we had the opportunity to donate, but the federal home loan bank said, hey, anybody you donate to, we will match that three times. So every dollar you give, we will match $3. So Cheryl helped us. They came to us and said, hey, in Utah, we can do this. So it had to be in Utah, had to be a foundation. And this was right before Christy had talked to us about what the date was going to be for her vision rally, for the vision rally. So, so we, we thought we would apply for those funds. So we had $2,000 of the Security National Financial as a company, not just the mortgage company, but we were donating to the foundation. They came back and approved it, and so the total is $8,709. So, I don't, I don't have a big phone check. I know, I know. She's mad at me. I'm an idiot. So, but I wanted to thank Cheryl for helping us. She did all the paperwork, got it all through. Heather um, has helped through HR. So, if you guys, I think most of us in this room and on Zoom, know somebody affected by suicide. And so I'm going to let uh, Christy talk a little bit about it because it's more personal to her than it is to me, and especially for this donation. So um, I'll turn the time back over to you. So thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for letting me take a couple minutes. Thank you. So I also wanted to kind of echo what Jill said, and I've, I'm probably being repetitive, but for Security National, um, it means a lot to me because while I was gone and I was not here, Security National was still a strong supporter, including Paul, um, to the nonprofit when I started it. And when we originally started it, it was obviously to at first honor my son. Um, that was the goal, was figuring out and finding a way that uh, he would be remembered after losing him. And it slowly, I say slowly, but really quickly in a seven year span has grown into what it is today where we are able to help um, not only teens and people that are struggling with suicide and mental health, but uh, we also help mothers that have lost children because um, when a parent loses a child, they have an 80% chance of taking their life. And so the work that we do to help them find hope again um, is super powerful for me personally, very healing for me, but also um, the fact that we're able, we are able to touch so many lives across the country, locally, but also across the country, and it's these kind of donations that help me continue to do that and honor Taylor. So thank you, everyone. Okay, so um, we're going to start with a minute to win it, and then we will rotate through our numbers and regional updates. We do have a guest speaker today. Jeff Nelson's gonna come in and share about our commercial lending. And I also wanna kind of, oh, I th I'm thinking about canceling our July meeting. I typically do not hold sales meetings in July for obvious reasons. Um, summer kind of is busy and we're traveling. And so we will plan on canceling the July meeting. And then in August, we will hold our June and July numbers. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, minute to win it.
Lindsay. Those are awesome. Okay, so some of us that worked together back in 2010, 2012, remember when I was an originator, and some of you might recall how competitive I was back in the day. For the record, that's not changed. So when I look at our numbers as a region, trust me, we're figuring that shit out. Um, <laughs> but I, feel com I really feel compelled to talk about that time frame. So back in those days, um, two to three million a month was an amazing month. And we were working really hard to hit those numbers. And if those were the numbers like in 2020, it was like doing four to five, six million a month. That's what it felt like doing two to three at that time. And so for those of you that are striving to do three to four million, I applaud you, but I also want you to celebrate the one to two million dollar production because that's a lot of work. Um, and I, again, I feel a little bit more compelled because back in 2012, during those days, with my competitive mindset, I held Blake Reese to a competition and said, whoever wins this month is going to wear a dress to the sales meeting. And we, we kind of talked about what I would do if I lost. Actually, it was whoever lost. And we never came up with that. I feel like it was because we kind of knew already who was gonna win. And so we proposed the bet that the loser would have to dress up in some, something ridiculous and I just want to celebrate that I won that competition. And Blake Reese had to score a dress to the sales meeting. <laughs> so for those of you that don't follow me on social media, I felt like we needed to share that here today. You're welcome. You know what though, Blake, I was looking at it and I'm thinking, I think today you would probably fit in like a size two, six. <laughs> I think we got to pick out the color or no you picked out the color and we picked out the dress so yeah that was awesome good 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 times okay so May was not the month we were hoping for um we were sweating bullets as we rolled into May I was really hoping that we were going to hit 40 million we came a little bit shy of 40 million we were honestly close we thought we, we were going to hit it and uh, we had a couple of loans in the million dollar price point roll into June. So on a positive, June's looking better than May started out. So we're happy about that. On another positive, with all the work that we did over the past year, 40 to 45 million is our sweet spot. So we're, we're getting there. So everything you guys are doing, are doing is helping us to meet that place that we need to be. Um, we did, we helped out as a, as a company, 204 million with 714 families across all regions. And as I mentioned earlier, we came in third place, helping 103 families. We did 55 conventional loans, 48 were government and only 11 were brokered. I am gonna let Cody take over. Oh, let's play it. Is it of me? So this is currently being played on the billboard. Nice. So I'll play it. You said it's for a week. For a week. We don't know oh. when you're playing it, so we're trying to help them. You told us ahead of time. That's that's the big one? That's the big one. Oh. There you go. Okay, number five is Brand Wilkinson at little over two million. I just want to point out, Bren was also in 19th in the entire company, so that's that's amazing. Uh, number four is Mike Yancey. Mike here? Mike did over three million and he was number 10 in the company. And then uh, Taylor Wright, Taylor Wright, 3.4 million, and Taylor was number six in the company. Uh, Kathy Castle was almost four million and she was number five in the entire company. And then number one, Austin Ingersoll, number one in Midville and number one in the company. Oh, let me just real quick give you an update on the president's trip. I don't think we have a slide for this, right? Okay, so 
Austin's made the trip. Kathy's at 17, 18 million. She'll make the trip. Jeremy Franco's at 14. Taylor's at 12. He'll make the trip. You just got to get to 21, remember. You still got seven months. Uh, Rudy's at 10, real close. Bren's real close. He's going to make it. Mike's real close. Brandon, Shelly Cox, Steve Hansen, all around seven million. So um, I'll, give you, I'll give you better updates next week, some more details, but keep it up. Okay, so our numbers for underwriting for the month of May, we had Susie at 66, Leslie Hardman at 36, and James Hurst at 34. So you guys did awesome. And then Susie, shout out to you for an anniversary this month. Congrats, Susie. No, okay, Ricky. And then Ricky. our top oh, processors, we had Andy at 19, Delina at 16, and Lorraine at 13. For closing, we had um, Kendra at 39 and Jade at 51. So way to go, you guys. And then a couple dates this month. So we have Juneteenth on the 19th. So we have that day off, it's a company holiday, um, but also it doesn't count in any waiting periods. So not delivery or waiting. So just keep that in mind when you're planning your loans. Um, refi day is the 22nd, purchase day is the 27th. And then um, we do have a little update on the, how we're gonna be reflecting the seller credit towards the appraisals. So what we have been doing is we apply the lump sum seller credit and then it goes towards closing costs and that can include the appraisal that's been paid outside of closing already by the borrowers. So what we're gonna to do to make it a little bit more transparent to the investors and to our borrowers is we're going to start splitting that out. So if, let's say the borrower paid the appraisal 625, you have a $5,000 seller credit, we're going to take that on page three of your CD and we're going to put seller reimbursed POC appraisal, 625, and then the remainder of your seller credit will still be showing as a lump sum. So if you see that, that's why we're doing it to make it more transparent and clear to the borrowers. If you do not want it to show that way, just let the closer know and we can just continue to show it as a lump sum. So just let me know if you guys have any questions. That's helping when a borrower pays for it up front. Yeah. We don't want to have money left on the table right. from the seller credit. Right. Okay. Uh, so just a quick note, if you're going to broker out some loans at all, you can do borrower paid instead of lender paid. Uh, if you want to do that, please get with Christy or Cody to make sure that you're charging the correct amount, okay? Uh, do you want me to go in from there? Okay. Okay. So yeah, just, just reach out to one of them and make sure that you can do borrower paid, which is helpful right now. Okay, there's been a lot of questions about this program that everybody's hearing about, the $20,000 uh, down payment assistance program. That is uh, the Utah Housing Program. It's gonna run through Utah Housing. So um, I have some bullet points that just kind of go over the program really quick. Uh, it's up to 20,000 for your down payment closing costs or permanent rate buy down, not temporary buy down. Uh, it will be a 0% interest, no monthly payment. It is going to be a second lien, which, you know, when you run your AUS, it'll be second lien. Uh, it is repayable, though, so watch for that. There'll be more information in the guidelines from Utah Housing on that. Uh, the first mortgage has to be a Utah Housing mortgage. It has to qualify for that. A first-time home buyer, new construction or newly constructed property, okay, uh, purchase price cannot exceed 450000 There will be an income limit. I noticed that the income limits have been increased on the Utah Housing website, so refer to that. So 
they haven't announced what it is, but I think it'll be the 141 that's currently on the Utah Housing website, okay? But watch for that. A and then uh, I did talk to Utah Housing last week and again this week. It looks like the program's not going to be available now until around mid-July. And they're not taking reservations yet. From what I heard, they're still working on some of the forms. Okay, trying to, this is going through the state. So I think the state is having to look at the forms and everything, so. Okay, and then um, if any of you got this email from Utah Housing and the need to know or the did you know email, uh, they, they sent out an email that you can do classes or training for this new program, and it came out on Monday. So if any of you didn't get that email for to sign up for training for the program, let me know and I'll forward that email to you so you can sign up for that training, okay? And then uh, also on their website, on the Utah Housing website, if you go to, I had it highlighted. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Grants and Programs Assistance. If you go right there to the Grants and Programs Assistance on the lenders page, uh, there is a fact sheet for the program, for the information that they have on it right now, and it's called First Time Home Buyer Program Assistance. So you're, if you're looking for information, just pull up that section there, and there's a bunch of uh, facts that you can read on it. So anyway, that's that Utah Housing Program again. I'm sure as soon as they put it out, we'll know about it. I'll keep in touch with them to kind of keep everybody up to date on when it's coming out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So there is some specific guidelines about because it's new construction, if they're already under contract or whatever with a property that's being built, there is some guidelines on that. And sorry, I don't have them all memorized, but um, but there is something in this facts about that. So yeah, I, I'd, I'd go there and look for that. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, thank you. All right, as far as marketing, we've got a couple things this month. Of course, we'll start off with our usual. These are the uh, Popeye tags. Kind of got a summer uh, 4th of July feel to a bunch of them. So this is our Sip Sip Hooray. Obviously can be paired with some kind of drink all the spicy details from your seasoned loan professional. And then finally, there's our 4th of July one. Have a sparkling July 4th. So these can all be prepped and taken out to your various people through the month. In conjunction with what Cheryl was just talking about, we do have flyers where Probably going to have to update the dates on that since we originally thought it was going to start around July 1st. So we'll get those updated. But we do have an English and a Spanish version of, of the flyer with the information for the, that new uh, uh, Utah housing program there. Next, the big board. As you can tell, we've got that ginormous video screen on the south end of the building. We can get it set up so that if you have a closing or, you know, we've been doing a little celebration thing. So the video earlier with the top five, that was one that we put together for the region. If you have a closing, you know, you, you've got a closing that you've done, you take a photo of that, we can get that take that photo and put a video together and get that up on the on the big board what we'll need for that is we have a release form that we have to get signed by the people that are in the photo so we have their permission to use their their likeness in our advertising so if anybody needs a copy of that form i know we've had it bouncing around but if you've lost track of where that is or you need another copy of it just let me know and we can send that out 
Of course, June monthly marketing plans on the inside track. Check that out for all of the uh, videos or the uh, emails that'll be going out this month. And that's it for marketing. Recap on the uh, board. Right now, the calendar is set for closings to appear on Tuesdays. So if you get them in early enough, it will typically be the following Tuesday. Um, apparently, we did not have any videos for April and very little for May. So that's why you probably didn't see a lot of those getting posted. So hopefully that picks up and you guys can participate in that. Um, today is team day, so we'll be providing lunch. And we are partnering with the Salt Lake region doing a meet and greet so you can see who you work with um, and get to know each other. So if you are on Zoom, we would still like to invite you to come out for lunch and meet everybody. Knowledge Coop. How many of you have signed into the Knowledge Coop for your CE? What are your thoughts on it? Have you started it? A <laughs> little bit more entertaining than what you've done in the past? Yeah, it's kind of like a Saturday Night Live feel. So I was surprised that I think we only had two or three people finish their CE, and we only had maybe three to five that have registered to start. So we're getting at that half time of the year. Um, we've set it up, so hopefully we've made it simple for you. If you are challenged, um, like me technically, and you don't know how to navigate it, get a hold of Sammy, and she'll help you get through the system. I highly recommend going this route. Your Utah CE is paid for by the region. Um, any additional licenses that you need, you'll be taken care of on your own. But I, again, I just recommend you using that platform. It makes it less painful to navigate through once you get started. So um, good luck with that. Events, UAR event. Uh, we talked about it last month. We are the platinum sponsor for UAR, which will be held in St. George. It's September 5th through 7th. I would love to have a strong presence there. So I am looking for loan officers that can come support us, help us with the booth, um, help us with the golf tournament that they're doing. I think they're doing a golf tournament. Um, anyway, it's a big event that they hold and we will be representing the networking night, which will be over three to 400 real estate agents. So if you can participate, whether you come out for the day or you come out for the weekend, bring a group of real estate agents, it's a great way for you to put yourself out there to a little bit more agent pool. So, and we are a big sponsor, so. We need the representation. Um, other events for networking, we have our Realtor CE class that is June 14th at noon. And then as we've talked about, we have the Utah Vision Rally on June 24th. Uh, Security National has over 60 volunteers coming to this, so we are super excited about that. Um, if you're seeing text messages that are coming to your phone because you've been a volunteer in the past, you can disregard those. They're for our registrations for people that have, um, you've accumulated in our database basically, so you don't need to register. Those are, you're just part of that database, so um, you can ignore those. Uh, June 8th is, or sorry, Salt Lake County Realtor Tour is every Thursday. Those tours are packed. I can't emphasize enough what an opportunity is for you to be participating in those tours. So every Thursday you can do Salt Lake County. June 8th is Pride Bingo Night. And June 15th is Golf in Riverton. It's another realtor networking golf event. We will send these out to you. So if you're interested, you'll have them in your email following the meeting. Utah County has their housing summit June 15th. And then Davis and Weber counties, again, every Wednesday they're holding their realtor tours. And next, we have Kaiser Hogan that is going to be... One more. Oh, there's one more. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Yancey. That's because he was late to the game. If you want me to put something at the sales meeting, you probably want to get it to me the day before. But we um, are having a Friday night Security National VIP event that Mike Yancey will be at, um, along with a few of us, I think, are going to be showing up for this event. So if you have some time Friday night, you want to bring your real, real tours. Mike, do you want to say anything on it? You have nothing to say? Hey, we pulled it off. So Mike will be DJing, um, but we're hoping to get a crowd there. So feel free to come and participate. That's Friday night. What time, Mike? 
Okay, 8.30 to 1 a.m. Awesome, you got that in. I forgot you were going to get that in. Okay, so Kaiser Hogan is here to share some information on our commercial lending. Uh, for those of you that occasionally have those real estate agents or clients that are looking for commercial options, I thought it would be helpful for you to have a little bit of insight on how that works and the best route to go um, and what that looks like for you. Come on. Come on up. Oh, the Zoom. All right. Fair enough. The microphone. I feel like singing. Um, well, I, I appreciate you uh, inviting me to, to come and talk about commercial lending and, and uh, as a way for you as loan officers uh, to make a few extra bucks if, if you're able to find uh, find deals. So just real quick, um, Henry is... Uh, Henry Kessler is also part of our team, a uh, pretty small team, just uh, just two of us. Henry and I are on the production side. And then we have a team lead, Brian Nelson, uh, who um, can't be here today because he's in Lake Powell for, for him, right? So uh, anyways, uh, what Henry and I do uh, and what uh, our commercial entity does at Security National is you need to think of it as a Band-Aid, if you will, uh, a Band-Aid for um, commercial real estate for deals that either need to close fast or aren't quite ready for traditional bank financing and will be ready shortly in the next 12 months, 18 months, two years, three years, kind of a max. So what a deal looks like for us, for Henry and I, would be um, uh, a deal in between about a million dollars and uh, you can call it probably 12 million. But realistically, we, re we like one to about $8 million in, in real estate, commercial real estate. And it can be anything, kind of. <laughs> it could be a car wash, it could be a storage unit, it could be an office building. Um, it can be whatever, but what we like, what the committee likes to see on commercial real estate is it needs to have cash flow and it needs to have cash flow of at least one to one. OK, um, and and I say one to one because, right, a bank wouldn't take that deal. Uh, and so in the future, that deal is going to cash flow a little bit greater than one to one. Uh, my background is is banking. I, I was in banking, commercial banking for, geez, about 20 years, about 18 years. Uh, and so a traditional bank wants to look at a deal at about one, two, five to one, right? One and a quarter to one debt service coverage. Uh, and so the hope is, is when we see a deal and the deals that we do and the committee signs off on these deals is the hope is that 18 months, whatever, two years, you guys get my drift, is that in the future, in the short term, that is going to be become bankable and that deal is going to pay us, pay us off, pay us back. Okay. So, uh, again, it's a band-aid, right? So it's not a bank deal. It can't be a bank deal. So our rates are a little higher, right? So they're not going to get a traditional, you know, five, six, seven percent that you're seeing in the marketplace right now for commercial lending. Our rates are going to probably start at about eight and a half uh, and go up to nine and a half uh, right now. And that's going to fluctuate as rates fluctuate. Uh, they don't fluctuate as much as your rates do in the marketplace. Uh, we don't necessarily tie it to any uh, index, if you will. Uh, but but right now, that's what we're we're closing deals at about eight and a half, nine percent right now. Um, and so recently, I'll just give you an example of a deal that I closed. Uh, and, and if Henry wants to share a deal that he's closed recently, uh, I'll, we'll let him do that as well. So you kind of get a feel for it. My deal was in um, Santa Rosa, California, Southern California. It was a gas station that wasn't quite open yet, but had a lease signed by 7-Eleven, right? So they were going to open... Uh, their doors in a few months. We were okay with that. It was about a four and a half million dollar uh, deal. We were able to do that. Uh, we charged uh, on that a point and a half. A broker brought that in uh, to us. 
Uh, and uh, he also charged, I think, a point on that as well. Okay. And so we didn't pay it out of our pocket. Uh, the broker collected a fee from there. Uh, simple deal. Um, and uh, we were able to close that one pretty quick um, in about 40 days, which is, which is pretty quick in, in traditional or uh, uh, bridge in the bridge space. Um, that, was, that was just kind of an example. Others examples that we've had uh, in the past, uh, maybe I'll, I'll let Henry share and just introduce himself real quick. Hi, I'm Henry Kessler, I'm pleased to work with, uh, with Kaiser and Brian and been here a few years. Yeah, our, uh, the, the idea is we provide a uh, uh, fast closing uh, interim loan, interest only, open prepayment, no penalty. Um, oftentimes, uh, like on the one Kaiser just mentioned, it's not ready for long-term financing because the tenant wasn't in place yet. Or maybe it's a uh, maturing CMBS loan that they can't extend, and for whatever reason, uh, they can't get long-term financing. Uh, a loan that I did was in um, Tempe, Arizona. It was a um, shopping center. It was about, I forget, 65% leased. Had a maturing CMBS loan, and the borrower wanted an interim loan to lease it up to stabilization. 80, 85 percent, and then get a long-term loan. So we gave them a, again about a four and a half million dollar loan, nine percent interest only. The one of the attractive things of our program is it's open prepayment at any time without any penalty. So uh, for the borrower that thinks he's going to lease it up quickly or uh, get a long-term loan when rates drop, uh, they're happy to come to us because we don't charge a uh, an exit fee or penalty or personal recourse. So as to complement um, a mortgage banker's long-term lender relationships by providing a short-term loan, giving them time to lease it up or get uh, long-term, something like that. We really do like purchase transactions because uh, the loan committee gets comfortable with the borrower coming to the table with cash alongside us but we'll do purchase and refinance. Um, and uh, probably we're most active in the Western United States, although we do lend nationally. That's a little presumptuous, uh, but we will lend nationally in larger metropolitan markets. But most of our business is in the Western United States. Thanks, Henry. Yeah, so what, what does this mean to you, right? Uh, so what this means, the opportunity uh, for you guys is that if you have, um, if you come across a commercial deal, uh, we will pay you. Uh, we won't charge an additional fee, right? Well, that two that two points that we typically charge, uh, you will get uh, payment out of that. And and I think Brian's kind of uh, left it pretty open, depending on the amount of work that's done by 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 you guys, the loan officers. Uh, that, that I think that payment anywhere ranges from about a half a point to a full point. So, you know, on, on a million dollar deal, you know, do the math, right? And every million, you know, do the math there. It's, it's a nice compliment uh, for you if, if just one happens to come across your desk. What, what we like to see is, um, I, didn't, I shouldn't even say that, you can be as involved as you want. I think Henry and I... Um, you know, we don't work necessarily a lot with the with the end borrower uh, traditionally. Traditionally, we work through the broker, right? Because the broker wants to control the deal. The broker wants to get paid. It's a little different when you guys bring in the deal. Um, we're going to pay you. Um, and so I know we know that you're busy and it's our job to get these deals uh, done and, and to committees. So we're okay to interact with the borrower uh, at, at that point. Uh, Henry's shaking his head, and, and uh, so we're okay to do that. So be as involved as you want or turn it over to us. Uh, we're, we're okay to do that. Um, we know it's all about relationships, so I would imagine most of you want to be involved, which is great. Um, yeah, yeah, question.
Um, kind of a loaded question. Henry wants to take this one, but yeah. Well, we're very much a real estate asset-based lender, so we don't have the same uh, fixation on the financial statements or whatever that you might in residential. So we we do want the income and expenses on the real estate. We're looking to the real estate, not to the borrower. So it's a little more open. And, and you know, you might be doing, a, in the past, you might be doing a loan for a borrower, and it just happens to come up in the conversation that he's buying a strip mall or something. And you can just refer to us, and we'll protect you, pay you that, that referral fee, and, um, you know, not expect you to do the same work as if you were a, a commercial mortgage broker bringing us the deal. On the other hand, if your, uh, your office will support your being involved and you, you can spell commercial, you can be as involved as you want. Uh, you wanted to know about the documentation though, right? Are we gonna do taxes and yeah. So we do, we do want that. Um, Yes, we really, yes, we really are. Um, so you could make an argument. Um, we could we could go to bat for you guys with committee uh, to see, hey, this guy doesn't want to share as much information or this borrower doesn't want to share as much information, uh, but be prepared for a committee to maybe ask for it. So it just, it, it's case by case, it really depends. Um, but yeah, we're not sticklers like Henry's saying on on collecting X Y Z, for sure. It is is primarily on the real estate. Um, do you want to open it up to a couple of questions? Um, yeah, please. Okay. Not that I'm aware of, Lencher. Uh, we use our own funds, so we use the um, the life company's funds to fund fund our deals. Uh, so uh, it would be uh, we don't uh, sh share funds. Yeah, so that's a great question. And, and I do want to just drill into your minds that we are not a bank. We don't offer bank rates. We don't offer long-term financing. So in that scenario, maybe a quick call uh, to Henry or I would, a five-minute call, Kaiser Henry, here's the deal. What do you think? Uh, we could say, yeah, we, we think that we could get that done. Here's the rate. Here's the fee. But at the end of the day, if it can go long term, take it long term, uh, because the most we're going to give you is three years. And really, we only like to give you two. So, again, we are just a band-aid. We're very, very specific on the on our program. We, we don't do any long term financing. It's just very short. Um, Almost a hard money, not quite as mean as a hard money, but pretty close, right? Uh, we're not going to have the prepayment penalties. We're not going to have the crazy fees. Um, our rates are going to be a little bit better than hard money. But yes, a good way to think about it is if this guy or this gal came to me, this borrower came to me and can't get it done, okay, we might have a solution for you. Okay. Okay. Any, any other questions? Okay, well, thank you. Oh, sorry.
Sure. Yeah, Henry and I, we love, yeah, we, yep, yep, yeah, we, we're, we're here to help you guys out, and, and we don't mind taking those calls at all, so yeah, feel free, okay? I sent a couple of over that didn't qualify, and I just sent them off, and we moved on, so it was good. Thank you both for coming. We appreciate that. I think we are ready to wrap up. Is there anything I'm missing before we move on to the raffle? Okay. So we are doing our final raffle, which is a, I believe, a Harmon's cooking class. Justin perked up. He's been, like, asleep the whole time until that. <laughs> on what? Okay, so we do have some flyers. We'll send those out in an email so you have information on it. All right, drum roll, Harmon's cooking class. Oh, shit. My readers. <laughs> Old. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's my birthday month. Just thought I'd throw that out there. 0701539. 0701539. Deidre, congratulations. All right, you guys, thank you for everything. If you need anything, you know where to find me, and let's have a good June. 40 million. Thank you. <laughs>